Welcome back everyone for another video, another mock update on my first responder space project. This is building number one, the police headquarters. As you, you are new here, this is my ongoing mock project. If you want to see more of it, I do have a playlist inside my channel. Uh, I believe it's called first responder space mock or something in relation if you just click onto that you'll see progress from the beginning up till now which is the video you're watching currently so uh i'm still working on the first building like the police headquarters as you see we have done the first floor the second floor and now we are moving up onto the third and final floor of this building i do not want to go that high as i don't want to turn it into a skyscraper but uh as soon as we're done with the third floor then we have the roof we'll call building number one a dunzo so what happens is now i have currently set up the lay the base for the third floor as you can see i'll give you a closer look right now give you the aerial view here this is the third floor landing it is 40 studs by 48 studs it's not the whole entire base plate and as you can see here we have the uh, hole here for the landing because that's where the stairwell is if you want to see the looks of the second floor i can remove that and there it is very quickly that's the cafeteria slash entertainment area on the second floor, whereas the first floor is the main lobby and uh, the space police uh, fun room. It's equipment room. And what I'm planning to do here on the third floor is the main office area and slash working stations for everyone that's working inside this building. I have two minifigures here, both of which are my sig figs. The one on the left here, I pieced up on my own with my own collection, which you can see I made myself a policeman with a camera in my hands as photography is one of my main hobbies. And one on the right here is the one I made from the uh, minifigure factory from lego.com, which the result I am not quite fond of, but that's okay. I do have something in store for him later on for this third floor as I describe to you what the layout is here. But instead of just saying it to you, why not I can actually show it to you with a digital copy I've made so far on draft on stud.io, which I will open here and share with you guys what I have for design so far. So here we have the third floor office space area. If you look at the bottom here, this is the exact dimensions that I have on the actual model that you saw before. This is only a pre-design, nothing as final as you can see. Not every single piece is laid out yet because no wall is up and uh, no tiling is on the floor. I use just blue for now just so I have a better idea of where everything is. In the past where I build the first and second floor, I just build as I go. But this time I decided to take a different approach for this third floor. So I made this digital copy. So I have a better idea where I want everything to be and I can utilize every space possible. So I'm gonna walk you guys around the floor and see what we have starting with that stair landing when you come up you have a door directly in front of you and we have the bathroom you can see we have a standard sink with some uh, drawers we got a toilet toilet design was pretty clever i had to got inspiration from some mocks i saw online and the toilet paper not one but two you got to have enough toilet paper and the funny thing is that out of the entire facility this is the only bathroom this only this of the entire building that's a big fail of me but uh I'm actually kind of fun how i made it so next to it we have two offices these are mainly for the bosses and as you can see i do 
not want for it to be I don't want to have a wall up for all these offices I want to make it a little bit more look more spacious so I add glass instead I like the idea of having glass in an office area it makes every it makes the area a lot bigger and it definitely looks more spacious so the layout is exactly the same you have this big desk here with the monitor the keyboard mouse coffee cup and chair where the boss sits plus two guest chairs so like I said same same design over here to the right we have a slightly bigger office space and as I pointed out that uh, minifigure my sig fig from the uh, minifigure factory that I wasn't happy about I decided him he looks a little bit nerdy so I decided to hire him as my tech personnel for the entire facility so any kind of security any kind of like tech technological wise that's for him to take charge of and that's no big that's no small responsibility that's a major task so he gets the biggest office space of all which makes the big bosses very jealous because look at this it's very small compared to his almost double the size it's like this space combined is like this space so oh well what can you do you're holding big responsibility and to the right we have the conference room and on the table I decided to not to go with a standard rectangular piece a bit, make it a little bit boring so I decided to curve it out on each end so it makes it a little bit more interesting they add these grooves here so you can put their own coffee cups we have a total of 10 chairs so we have a big space to fit everybody whenever we have a big conference that needs to that needs to be held and and I added more glass as you can see I like like I said I like that idea of having glass all over so you can see inside the conference room from the outside space so it looks better in my opinion rather than everything put up a white wall or something in the middle here we have a big well not big little cubicle space we have four cubicles in total each one is the same design so we have a monitor keyboard mouse desk and a chair a little hook maybe hook up I don't know a coat or a hat or something uh, it's a utilize a nice space here more office space and to the left here we have another door that is the stairway up to the rooftop and I didn't really it kind of like felt weird at first they're having the boss to look at the that door right directly across from him or her but um, it is what it is and we have another desk here a little bit bigger so I decided to make this the sergeant desk which is my other sick fig is gonna sit in a little little bit more bigger which probably the bosses will be jealous again he has another nice L-shaped space desk. And we have like these two two by fours here. This is not actually what it is gonna be. I have this in place just for placement so I can add some uh, vending machines that I bought a while back and they would be perfect for this space. Add. So I'm gonna use the remaining of this back space here to be a little bit of a lounge area for people to hang out with and also under the stairway it's a little bit interesting at first I was just gonna put a wall up here and then just hide this hide the stairway and just call it a day but there's so much more space here it feels like a waste so I decided to make a uh, bed a little bed here a mattress space here so people can actually take a snooze and it's actually a good hiding space too whoever's like lazy and sleeps on the job so you have that so that's the progress of what I have so far I'm gonna try to inventory up what I'm gonna need and I can build it 
all in either all in one go or continuously whereas in the past where I built as I went when I build one part I realize I need something that I do not have therefore I have to order it so oops there we go ooh that was scary yeah so I had to like uh, if I didn't have enough of those pieces, I have to order more, then I have to wait again. Therefore, if I inventory everything up this time, I can like keep on building it. That's my, well, I just, just spoke my slogan, so. But here we are. This is the progress that I have. And let me go, let me know what you guys think about this design.